Welcome to Win the Day from Back to the Bible. I'm your coach, Pastor Nat, and today we will talk about being a joyful redeemer. There are few people who give as cheerfully and joyfully as my mother. She loves giving away out of God's generosity to her. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 7 says that the Lord loves a cheerful giver, or some translations say a hilarious giver. In other words, we are called to be joyful grace distributors. My mom is just that. Well, in the story of Ruth, we find some incredible generosity from Boaz to Ruth. This respectful and wealthy Israelite takes notice of a destitute widowed Moabite. He provides her with provision and protection in his fields. And then in verses 14 through 16, he invites her to come near to eat lunch with him and his workers, and again provides incomparable protection and provision. He is a joyful giver. But who is really at the heart of this giving? Was it Boaz or someone else? Let's go back to the Bible for the answer in Ruth chapter 2, beginning in verse 18. And she took it up and went into the city. Her mother-in-law saw that she had gleaned. She also brought out and gave her what food she had left over after being satisfied. And her mother-in-law said to her, Where did you glean today? And where have you worked? Blessed be the man who took notice of you. So she told her mother-in-law with whom she had worked and said, The man's name with whom I work today is Boaz. And Naomi said to her daughter-in-law, May he be blessed by the Lord, whose kindness has not forsaken the living or the dead. Naomi also said to her, The man is a close relative of ours, one of our redeemers. And Ruth the Moabite said, Besides, he said to me, You shall keep close by my young men until they have finished all my harvest. And Naomi said to Ruth, her daughter-in-law, It is good, my daughter, that you go out with his young women, lest in another field you be assaulted. So she kept close to the young women of Boaz, gleaning until the end of the barley and wheat harvest, and she lived with her mother-in-law. So we find Ruth pulling a trailer of barley back to her mother-in-law, and hanging on the side of the trailer is her doggy bag full of food for Naomi. Naomi is shocked. What is all this? Oh, where did you find this much grain? Ruth tells Naomi, it was Boaz, and in an instant, the story takes another turn. Naomi went from full to empty and back to full again. She goes from blaming God for her miserable situation to praising God for His provision and protection. That's why she says, may He be blessed by the Lord, whose kindness has not forsaken the living or the dead. Though Boaz is the conduit for God's provision, God is the true source of the provision and protection. It's an important reminder for them and us today. And then in verse 20, Naomi calls Boaz one of our redeemers. You have heard this translated as her kinsman redeemer. This person can come in and redeem them from their painful past. Now keep this in mind as we continue through the rest of the book. We've seen so far that God is sovereign over all. He is truly in charge. Nothing is out of His sight or control. Though Naomi and Ruth's situation is horrible, God is working it out. He has shown incredible sovereignty and generosity through Boaz, one of their kinsmen redeemers. Today, How can you be a conduit of God's grace? How can you be a redeemer for someone who needs redemption and hope? I believe we all can do something as an agent for God. We can be light in the darkness, so ultimately people can see their need for God and His ultimate grace in salvation. Today, find that person and be that joyful giver and redeemer. When you do, God will win the day through you.